Hi, Brad here with Twisted Up Brewery. Today I want to talk about these plastic kegs. Why would you want to use a plastic keg? What's the pros and cons of using a plastic keg versus our stainless steel kegs? And um, can these be reused? Can we wash these and refill these? This is the number one question I had when I first saw the uh, plastic kegs at a trade show. And we're gonna investigate that today. We're gonna hook these guys up to our keg washer. And we're gonna see what happens. You can actually see through these. I mean, it's like a brown tin, almost like a brown beer bottle. Um, and you can actually see the liquid inside. So it'd be really cool to see the effects of the keg washer and what's going on inside of here while we do this. So let's talk about the pros and cons of these kegs. So the pros are they're very lightweight. You can pick these things up with one finger and um, it's going to make transporting these things to events, things like that, a lot easier. The number two reason is the cost. I mean, it's a fraction of the cost of the stainless steel kegs, which is another very attractive option. But now let's talk about the cons. So with cost being in mind, it is significantly cheaper to purchase these. However, these are intended for a single use only. So if I have to purchase this keg and only get one use out of it, Whereas if I purchase a stainless steel keg for significantly more money, but I can use them almost indefinitely. I mean, you may have to like replace some seals and stuff eventually, but the, the kegs last a long, long time. So then it becomes the question of, is it worth it? And what I had a question of to the sales rep at the craft brew conference was, could you wash and reuse these? And the answer I got was pretty much, I don't know. Like it's never been tested. No one's really ever asked that question because that's not for their intended use, right? But in my opinion, these are made with plastic parts. They are gonna wear faster and they are gonna wear, but I believe that you can wash these and get more than one single use out of them. Um, even if we could get a dozen uses out of them, I feel like that would open up another realm of possibility why I would want to use one because I would love to take these to events. Now this is the quarter cake size. So they do offer them in six barrel and quarter barrel sizes. They don't have the half barrel yet, which is another kind of con because um, half barrels is the most popular option. But um, as a quarter barrel, I actually feel like that's a good size for events. Sometimes a six stool is just not enough. Half barrel is way too much and they're real heavy and a pain in the butt to carry. So a quarter keg is like a good size, I think, to take to events. Now what I'm wondering is, could I purchase a set of these fill them up, use them for events, and wash them and refill them for a whole season, and then throw them away at the end of the season, and then buy new ones for the next season. I think that would be an awesome option for these if they can handle it. So we're gonna put these to the test. Today we're gonna hook these up to the keg washer, and it'll be really cool too because you can actually see through this. I mean, it's got that brown tint on it, but we'll be able to see like what the keg washer's done inside of there, which is really cool, which we haven't been able to do before. So I'm gonna start filling these up in the beginning of the season and start pushing them through there and see how many uh, uses we can get out of them. I mean, we're gonna push them to the limit. So we'll do a part two of this video series next year and with a follow-up to see how they held up and how many uses we could actually get out of them. We're gonna tag them every single time. We're gonna put like a Sharpie marker or something, a hashtag to know how many uses we actually got out of these. So it'll be a fun experiment. Evacuation cycle, looks good. First rinse cycle. I just completed the cleaning cycle on these plastic kegs and overall I would say it's a success. 
There is a couple things I'm gonna note though. During the keg cleaning process, um, I was using 170 degree water, which I usually use for my other kegs as my rinse agent. That might have been a little too hot for these. And I started to see like definitely um, deforming of this, I should say, a little bit. And when we went from the hot water cycle to the cold water cycle, I seen the, you know, like the depressurization from the hot to cold and it kind of collapsed in a little bit. But then as soon as we put the evacuation pressure on to it puffed right back out again. Um, it doesn't look like there's any damage. I went ahead and pressurized this one, the 14 PSI is holding pressure just fine. But I think in the future, I probably wouldn't run this past like 130, 140 uh, degree water, hot water rinse, which is really more than adequate. Um, and we would just make sure you rinse them really good. But also, during the process, I saw that the bottom had separated. So I think that, you know, with it kind of expanding and contracting, that it just kind of came loose. Now, I don't think that that's a huge deal because they sell these online as just a plastic vessel without the top and bottom on it. So I think that these are designed to kind of come on and off anyway, and you really don't necessarily need it. All you need is the plastic vessel. But this makes it really nice, you can stack them and uh, it sits really nice on there. So I think that we could probably just reattach this. I think it just spins on and connects. So I'll spend some time playing around with that. But I am gonna mark some tally marks on these and this will be use number two coming up. And I'm gonna see how far I can push these guys, see how many uses I can actually get out of them. It'll be a good experiment. So uh, keep watching and you know, subscribe to the channel, make sure that you keep an eye out for the next video, It'll be part two. Although that's probably not gonna be till later in the year so that we uh, have time to really cycle these kegs and see how they do. Thanks for watching.